In this video, we are going to see how to create great looking slides like this by starting with a simple slide like this. I have created a new presentation, there is only one slide in it and I have just typed the word retail. Now I click on the design ideas button in the home tab. This requires an internet connection and it requires Microsoft 365 version of PowerPoint. It applies machine learning, AI behind the scenes and gives you many options. Typically, the first option is a video and then there are images. Now, if I choose one of them, I'm going to choose the video. The video gets downloaded and when I run the presentation, it's going to run in a loop manner. It's a short video to reduce file size. Notice that this is not the standard design template. It has created a palette of 10 colors based on the picture or video we chose. It also found a set of two matching fonts and it created additional layouts which will match the overall design. If you want the complete theme to be created, you must create a blank new presentation and put the text in the first slide. If you just want visuals, you can type and then it will find the visuals also for you. So here are some examples of what I wrote and what I got back using the design ideas feature. Here is a bonus. All these pictures, graphics and videos are available to you directly if you go to insert picture stock images. In addition, you also have cut out people, stickers, illustrations and cartoon people available to you. Please explore them and use them to your advantage. There is another very useful thing called perspectives. What does that mean? Whenever we are communicating a number, how to make the audience understand the significance of that number easily. Here is the classic example. When CD-ROM was introduced long back, Bill Gates wanted to tell people or rather show people how much data can fit into that small disk. So there is a long bunch of papers is hanging from a tree and it's saying all that can fit on this. That's called perspective. So perspectives can be easily managed inside PowerPoint using design ideas. So here are some examples. How many minutes are these? Difficult to understand. So the perspective is this. It automatically converted it to two and a half months. So here are some more examples of perspectives. So any number which is height, calories, weight and so on, it converts into the correct kind of perspective. In fact, this feature is also coming in Word very soon. Another method of learning this is when you type something, you will see a brown dotted line below it. Red means spelling problem, green means grammar problem, brown means perspective. So here it is saying 190 calories is about 15 minutes of running. Better communication with lesser effort. Now here I have some pictures randomly added on the slide. I want to arrange the pictures. Usually what happens is I'll have to crop and adjust and align which is time consuming. So all that I have to do is click on design ideas. It gives me many variations of the images. I can choose the one I want. So now I am just pasting another picture on top of it. Because design ideas is open, it actually adjusted that picture live and it is giving me multiple variations which I can choose from. It also works with diagrams. For example, if I write something like this, there is a timeline. It understands that and gives me multiple options. It also understands abstract things like this and generally it will not put pictures here, but it will find the right set of icons. Incidentally, these are smart art objects. So you can copy paste it into your presentation it will dynamically adjust to your color combination and your layout. Here are some more examples of what I wrote and what I got back. It also understands processes. So this is step one, two, three, four, five. This is a linear process, but it also gives you variations for iterative process as well. Here is another very interesting feature from Word Online. 
I have opened a document which has lot of topics and subtopics and I want to create a presentation from this document. So I go to file and export. Then I click on export to PowerPoint. It will ask me to select a template. Now it's picking up content from Word, converting it to PowerPoint and let's see what happens. Notice it didn't just create one slide, it created a theme and then there are color and font coordinated slides. It has actually put pictures relevant to what I am trying to show. So in one click, I actually got a much better looking presentation without having to do any kind of copy paste. Sometimes the design ideas button is inactive. Refer to the link given in the description to understand why. So I hope this was useful. I'm sure you're going to subscribe and share it with people and spread the word. So that is all for now. Thank you.